first I would like to understand um, when you have decided to do that, how did it begin? Did it begin? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it sort of developed as, uh, as the sort of ball started rolling. But I mean, the first genesis of it would be sort of uh, me sitting in the first years of Trump, you know, of, of uh, you know, 2017, 18, when, you know, I was sitting here like many people sort of confused and uh, uh, confused, uh, worried, uh, angry, uh, you know, and, and confused what, what is happening to, to, to sort of uh, storytelling, what's happening to journalism, what's happening to facts, you know, like, uh, you know, suddenly we are in a landscape of uh, alternative facts, you know, everything people didn't agree with, it was suddenly called fake news. And then there's the whole process and mechanics of how Trump was elected. I was very fascinated by that. I was reading a lot about it, about the Russian uh, troll factories and all of this, you know. It was kind of the same time we started seeing these first prototypes of synthetic uh, imagery kind of enter the mainstream, you could say, like, you know, the deep fake videos, yeah. the... Uh, these uh, artificial intelligence uh, gun generated portraits, you know, this sort of this person does not exist.com kind of thing. Uh, you know, the thing is, once I started, I mean, it, it was almost from the first moment I downloaded the software, I was looking at my screen and looking at this very lifelike character that you can make look exactly how you want, you know, big, small. Uh, beautiful, ugly, whatever, you know. The moment I was looking at this face, it scared me, right? I mean, I, I could see, you know, this is not that hard to do. You know, this is really close to sort of photography. Uh, it was like looking at something that, I mean, I can come, it, it was like looking at waking up my own Frankenstein monster. You know, it's kind of like this. This is totally frightening. I'm creating this thing. I shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> you know, it's like this. I should stay way the hell away from this. I should be running away, but I can't because it's so fascinating. It's dangerous. What is dangerous is also seductive, of course. And it's kind of like. You went to to Vélez. Yeah. But why did you go there after all? You didn't even need to go there. Well, first of all, I was curious. You know, I was curious about the place. I was curious. Also, I needed a lot of background because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't just computer generate the entire world because that, you know, would take so much time. And uh, so, so I needed the backdrops, right? I need, and I, I needed those to look like the real thing. So, and uh, and uh, I, what was your feeling about the city? Uh, kind of sleepy, a little bit uh, caught in uh, caught in another era. You know, I mean, it's a place where you know a lot of the industries kind of shut down, and there's not that much to do for young people. And that's why this happened there because it was young people who basically. These guys were totally uninterested in politics. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know the, the way fake news works, right? Is that the most, and this is how the Russian troll factories and all the guys operate. It's like the mechanics of it is it, it it's really successful when it's, it's kind of approaches proximity to the truth. You know, like if not that far off, you know what I mean? And then you manipulate it and then you twist it around and it becomes something else. You know, it's like. Um, so you needed to go there because of that, you mean? Yeah, I think that was, I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't even think through all of these things properly before. I, I just kind of fell into it. Right. But, you know, as I was doing it, I was, you know, learning and understanding and, and feeling my way. And I, in a way, I think the fact that you have uh, opposing parties, you have critics and you have um, support. I mean, 
it means that there is a conversation to be had, you know, and I think that is the main thing, you know, I think this project has at least started so many conversations and some people end up critical and some people end up positive, whatever, but in a way, I don't care so much about that. I care about that, the fact that it actually has started making a lot of people talk about these boundaries, it, uh, about these technologies. You know, people are really writing a lot about these uh, technologies. Uh, uh, obviously, it's not a work of photojournalism, but it's a, a conceptual, it's an artwork, in fact, I think, no? Yes, but 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 of course, it the format of it originally was uh, pretending to be photojournalism <laughs> in yeah, a way. Yeah, we understand that, but if you if you look at it, if one look at it, it's conceptual. It's hundred percent conceptual, no? Of course, of course, basic. It's so, like the the target group for my experiment, if you want to call it. It, it was quite limited. I mean, it was people who buy my photo books and people who follow me on my social media channels. And then a few hundred photojournalists sitting in the Perpignan Visa Pour Le Marche Festival. I mean, it's like, it's actually quite a small segment of the human population who were actually subjected to my uh, experiment. But, it, uh, but that, your, it, experiment, it, it, your, your experiment looked like a prank a bit also it can be very conceptual but it can be also a prank and you seem very about it no it's yeah, because yeah. what you what, what one can read on the on the site of magnum is that you wanted to show there can be a lot of fake news but in it has a prank side also oh yeah of course i mean uh, yeah Yes. What's what's the deep? Uh, I, I, I'm not. And nobody. I, I mean, some people don't like to be also, you know, me, be pranked. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so but, there's that part. What about the noble side of the project? The noble side. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> your your words, not mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there's no noble side. Well, I mean, they're, they're, uh, listen, this is just, I mean, for the firstly, this, this is done from my side as an attempt for the protection of journalism. Okay, because I mean, I'm, I, 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 I have done this out of love for journalism, right? Because I believe journalism is important. So it's, it's really trying to create a vaccine almost uh, to give us some antibodies for this 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 wave of of synthetic information that's coming right i mean that 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 is actually the intention here i mean it's like so it's noble yeah okay i <laughs> as i say it, i i i wouldn't i'm i'm a humble guy you know i i, I don't want to use that word about about myself but but uh that is the intention i mean the, the intent the, listen if you talk to people on the tech side of things you know, in terms of the, the advancement of synthetic information, meaning synthetic images, images not made by camera, but by like I did computer chip or synthetic text generation, which is really uh, strongly developing now, you know, we, we will enter an information landscape here, which will be so chaotic. You know, we think we have a problem of sorting information from misinformation, from disinformation today. It, it's it's not even 10% of what we will have when, because, you know, the difference now is that this can be automated. That has never, you know, people have always been able to create misinformation, right? Uh, people have always manipulated photography. People have always written lies. That, that is not the new thing here, you know? Uh, the new thing, is, which I'm trying to show, is that this can now be automated. When something can be automated, it can be produced in huge quantities, right? And, and how is my children, you know, my teenagers, my children going to deal with this information problem? But you know, you I mean, say, that's what it's about. Yeah, you say you are humble, but this is not an humble project at all. Yeah, you want I mean, to show the world that the system is changing. It's not humble. Yeah, no, no, that, that's not humble. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, the, the artificial intelligence can easily 
uh, also generate, you know, science journals, uh, live newspapers, um, you know, that are updated in real time, but are basically just forgeries. Um, it can automatically do these things. And, and when you read it, it appears to be just as legitimate as anything else you read. It's in this right format. It uses the right language. Uh, but of course, it's just gibberish. So, Why did you? Merci, monsieur. Ah, great pleasure. Thank you very much.